Usually I would make a monthly scrapbook video about what I did in April. <laughs> I did some things and I will tell you about them, but it wasn't a massively interesting month. This is like an admin phase of my life that I'm in now. Sitting on a computer, typing things, measuring things, adding things up. I thought it might boy, boy? Boy, boy, boy. I thought it might be more interesting. I thought it might be more interesting if I did a little favourites video. I haven't done one in a while and I do have some bits I'd like to share with you and I will share my favourite things that were interesting that happened in April. I might sat really sideways. Sorry, I'm just like, there's not a lot of space here, but I think there's more leg room on a bus. My bed is like right up against me, so I'm like, trying to squeeze in. So first up I have some clothing bits. You might remember if you've watched my home improvement vlogs that I've been getting rid of a lot of my wardrobe. I'd say I've I've at least halved it from what it used to be. I've been donating most of it to charity. I've given some to family and friends. It's really nice having less stuff. I got a bit nervous donating some things like what if I change my mind? What if suddenly after like five years of owning it, the perfect event to wear it to will <laughs> spring up in my life tomorrow. But honestly, now I can't even remember most of what I donated. So I think that's a good sign. It obviously wasn't that important or special in my life because I have no idea what it was now. I bought some new bits because I'd left myself with a nice little collection of t-shirts, mostly black t-shirts, which is fine. I love a black t-shirt, but the weather was getting nicer and I wanted some new pretty everyday tops. And I was committed to finding something that I could wear again and again and again and again. I'm trying to like re mold my habits with fashion where I have less things, but I just wear them all the time. <laughs> I want fewer outfits that I wear more regularly and that I just know I feel Good in. I went into H&M and I came across these wrap tops and I bought two of them in different patterns. You can get them in another floral pattern and in black I think. I got them in this kind of white pattern which a few people have told me looks like a hospital gown <laughs> like from the neck up and I got like a navy floral print one. I absolutely love wrap tops. I think they're so flattering and so pretty but I hardly ever wear them because they tend to have an issue sometimes with like not releasing your boobs. And these wrappy tops have a little clip on the booby bit. Why don't all wrap tops have a booby clip? And I love them so much. I've been living and dying in them. I've been wearing them all day. I wear these tops all day and all evening till bed. That's a big deal for me. As soon as I get in my house, I'll be in my pyjamas or my leggings or my underwear. If I don't have to be clothed, I'm not going to be. But with these tops, I have chosen to wear people clothes, actual clothes until bedtime. That's how I know that these tops are my jam. They're so comfortable, so floaty. I sized up, I'm technically a size 14 on my top half and a 16 on my bottom, but I sized up to a 16 because I just wanted it little bit extra flowy and loose. They have a button on the inside of the waist and then a little tie on the other side and they're just so comfortable and pretty. This is like thinking way ahead of myself right now but I also feel like with the little clip they'll come in quite useful for breastfeeding <laughs> at some point in my life. I also picked up this little yellow cropped shirt and new look. When I spotted it I was wearing black high-waisted jeans and I just felt like that would look really nice together. I love the colour, I love the cut and the style and the buttons and it looks really nice, I think, with the next thing. I bought this denim jacket, it might have been 2015 or even earlier than that from Boohoo, it's really old and I've never worn it so much as I have this year. <laughs> this was one of those rare things that I didn't wear very often but I kept hold of it because I knew its day would come. And it did recently. I suddenly fell in love with it and everything I've been wearing looks really nice with it. It's perfect for when it's not exactly cold but you just want a little something something. It's from Boohoo like I said and it's pretty old so I don't know if you can get it anymore, sorry. But I thought I'd still tell you about it because you might be happy for me. Next I have some skincare and hair care bits. I've been using the Dead Sea Spa Magic Mineral Shampoo and the Dead Sea Spa Magic conditioning scalp mud. I have 
dry, flaky scalp problems. At some points during the year, around the front of my head in particular, just becomes so dry. The little quote on the front of this shampoo is, finally, I have found a miracle solution for my dry, flaky scalp. It doesn't completely get rid of the issue for me, but it makes it just so much less, it's just so much less, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It just makes it less. It's paraben free and all the ingredients are organic. You don't need a lot and it lathers up really well. It's a really nice shampoo. And I'm using it alongside the scalp conditioning mud. I don't use this every time I wash my hair and I don't use it all over my hair. I just use it on the area where I feel like I need it because these are both quite pricey so it just, it makes it last a bit longer. I feel like sometimes these work better than others. I'm trying to pay attention to exactly how much I rub it into my scalp, how, like what temperature water I'm using. I feel like there's so many different variables that could be making a difference, but they've done the best job of anything I've tried so far. So I use the scalp mud on my scalp and then the conditioner I've been using on the rest of my hair is the Faith in Nature Jojoba Conditioner for normal to dry hair with Pro Vitamin B5. I've tried a few other products from Faith in Nature and didn't get along with them too well, but this I really, really like. Something I have also been using on my hair and also on my skin, pure jojoba oil and pure argan oil. Argan oil is something I just always come back to. It's just so good. I got both of these in Holland and Barra. I make a little mixture of the two and then flip my head over and kind of scrunch it into my hair. You have to be really careful not to put too much on. You can very easily become a greasy, greasy mess. When in doubt, use less. I've also been using these on my skin. And honestly, I only started doing that because I ran out of all my other moisturizers. And they said on the bottles that you can use them on the skin and my skin is looking pretty good. I've really improved my diet a lot recently, so I'm sure that's a big part of it as well. I wanted to share some music I have been binge listening to. <laughs> Burning Love by Elvis, Black Velvet by Alana Miles, Big Iron by Marty Robbins, Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison, and Wild Ones by Iggy Pop. Yeah, I was thinking about Pretty Woman. <laughs> These are some of my favorite happenings in April, moments, life things. First off, me and my friend Jordane went to an owl sanctuary and it was so good. For about an hour, we were the only people there, which was fantastic. It was just us and the owls. I actually filmed a what I ate video that day. I loved photographing the birds. We were sat eating lunch at one point actually, and because there were so few people there and we were just sat there like with our cameras eating a sandwich, um, one of the bird handlers who was moving a falcon, I think it was, from one place to another, just came over with this falcon and was like, do you want to take her picture? I'm just moving her and you know, you've got your cameras, so here she is if you want to get up close and photograph her. And that was so cool. We took neighbor Doggo out again, we played fetch with her and she's she just loved it. She's such a good little dog, she's so sweet. She would happily have stayed there and played fetch all day. I got some really lovely pictures of her. One in particular, she just looks like she's got the biggest smile on her face, it's so sweet. Then another new doggo came into my life. My friend Jess uh, adopted a dog called Emma through the Romanian Rescue Appeal. They rescue street dogs from R Romania. She adopted her recently and we met up and we took her on a little walk and I said like, can I bring my camera and try and get some pictures of her and of you two together? It was so good. She's so beautiful. She's such a supermodel. I really enjoy photographing her. And again, I think even if I do say so myself, I think I got some really good photos of them. I'm really proud of them pictures. With the weather getting nice again, I've been taking a lot of photographs recently and really enjoying it and really trying to like find and take opportunities to take more photographs. I've been really seriously thinking about my photography recently. I signed up to do a photography course. It's just like a basic beginners thing, but it's just to like, de-rust myself. I've arranged a couple of photo shoots, I have them coming up soon. I just want to practice as much as I can and I want to get to a point where I'm confident enough in my work that I can actually offer my services as a photographer. I realised recently how truly, truly happy it makes me when I get to capture a lovely moment and then show that person and they love it and that just makes me so happy. So I want I want more of that in my life. I want to do that more often. I've already had people asking me if they can book me. I'm not 
like at that point yet. <laughs> but when I am, yeah, of course you can. I'll be up for that. These last few bits, let's call other, <laughs> other favorites. I became a mother again twice. They don't have names yet, so feel free to suggest some good duo names. I also brought Lady Floof home with me. This fabulous, massive palm behind me here. I was with my friend Lindsay and I said to her, I want a massive tree friend <laughs> for in my living room. It's not enough of a jungle as it is. I need a bit more plumage. I'm a bit intimidated and scared that I won't be able to keep her satisfied and meet her needs and she's gonna die on me because she's a very big girl. So far you're alive, aren't you? So we're not doing too badly. She's so pretty, she's so big and floofy and lovely. Last but not least, we have this little ratty. This and a letter was left for me in a tattoo studio that I've been to to be tattooed before. It was made by a lovely lady called Anna and she went there to get tattooed and she dropped off this little gift box. It took me a while to actually go there and pick it up and I was worried the whole time that it might be like food and then I'd feel really bad for letting someone's gift go mouldy. But it was this little rat made of felt, I think it's felt, and there was a letter with him and it was so so sweet. It made my day and I think she said in the letter like she wasn't that good but I think this is great. I think this is really good. Thank you so much for that, Anna. It was such a lovely surprise. That's everything that I have to show you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.